Okay, we're there, we're everywhere, and it's Labor Day, and uh, I'm looking through my notes. I have taken from Dave the Uber Slave, or No Limit Van Life, um, I'm taking his notes, and I'm going to use them. It's worth breaking into his house, well, his van, of course. Um, and he was sleeping so soundly that I grabbed some of my notes and decided I'm going to do short videos too. He had it, he wrote it down, do short videos, say intelligent, important things. And I saw his video and he did. It was very cool. Um, we didn't need to see him. He gave me hope that we can keep doing these recordings without any video. But he mentioned some things about Lyft, and uh, you guys should see it, or Uber. You know, it's all right, share, and it's all up to date. What he was talking about, this manipulations of wordings and terms of endearments have been going on forever, no matter who the top guy is. You know, if we don't need to pronounce his name, because we all know about the other person, right? The other uh, Lyft guy who showed up at Lax, right, on Thanksgiving of 2018. We already heard the story back then, remember? And then uh, once again, they were saying, well, different newses. We're going to give different newses for different people, and we're going to word it, though, the same way. See, they have, they have people in place who can understand how to take everyone who's reading these notifications and just work with their minds and they're gonna read what they wanna read, hear what they wanna hear, but it's always the same thing. Um, Uber just wants to get away with it and the drivers just want to work. And if you take it like a cab driver's story, like a Dan Fonte driving through LA story, um, it's not about what Uber's about, and Uber's lying through their middlemen, which are the passengers, and then the passengers turn into thieves. I mean, we've seen it on a daily basis. Uber just never looks at any YouTube. That's their mistake, and that's going to be their downfall. And here in California, we're just going to be laughing as we watch them go away, because we already knew from the Texas incident, when we were trying up in Santa Barbara north, of LA by 80 miles to to just get these special lights that they wanted us to have to make the passengers feel more safe. And I remember in LA, they needed it. If they didn't see you with their light, a lot of these people at night were just like, eh, what's wrong with you? You must not be very good. We can scam you. I mean, it's a whole different story. But just saying, there's some good channels out there and Dave, keep up your journalistic work short and sweet like that, you're on the right track, you got the right thoughts, I believe you, and so that's good there. All right, my series, what am I going to call it? I'm looking through my notes here. It's called Analog. Yeah, I'm going to discuss Analog all through this Labor Day. What's happening here, Santa Barbara Labor Day? Nothing. It's dead. There's nothing. There's a bunch of hotels that say no vacancy, but we know there's nobody there. We can hear there's nobody in or out of these buildings, and they're not coming in or out of here, but my city's afraid that someone is. So like I'm saying, I've been giving those little cryptic messages out to the homeless who have technology to to get these, um, it's, it's dead here. Just show up, everyone, and there's rooms. And it's, it's the old school motels. You're just going to walk up. There's no guards. There's no security guards. It's right off the street, right off the beach. Jews, you, there's, um, join the students. The students have all gone home. You can go to their dorms. That's up at UCSB. There's a great place. You heard the point. You heard Moses, the skateboarder. Well, you guys probably aren't listening to this. Yeah, they're long. I know. I know, but I don't know how to do it, how to do this editing inside of this voice pro thing I'm using. Oh, I have to bring that up. Why? People have been asking me questions about why I'm dark and why won't I just do this through my phone? 
and I've been explaining that I can't because of memory, and then the computer died, and I'm just going through the whole thing. Apple does this, all the drives are stuck. I'm going back to Super 8. That's analog, so I don't need the phone. I got my Super 8 camera. It's got a Leica lens. Super happy about this. It's going to be great, and I got a sound process here see that I can do in binaural, which is giving off the um, auditorial spectrum disorder that I've been trying to discuss here that was brought up by Dave, who someone told him it was Asperger's. We don't say that. That needs to go through corporate. It's not even the right thing. They dropped it. They dropped that in the psychology. So Uber needs to know, send it up to Shell, send it up to anyone who's working a corporate job. And that can be anybody, right? You can be mopping a floor and you're working a corporate job. So you got to know the First Amendment and you got to know certain words and understand them when you're hearing them back out of context with your script. That's another channel. All right, we're back to analog. So it means I'm only going to be dealing with records. Let's find a store somewhere in L.A. Books. Let's find one in Venice Beach. Well, we couldn't remember because uh, the traffic... That was not possible. Wires, yeah. Unless people get off the DT audio and stuff. No, we got to have the wires there. So my analog things, that's what I'm going to be working with. I will be typing the script up now. My notes will be typed on this typewriter that I got from my sponsor, who got it out of a thrift store. And my sponsor was this great writer, also an alcoholic, so that's why he was my sponsor. And uh, his name's Dan Fonte, and you can find his book. He was the best L.A. cab driver ever, guys. Check it out. It's fun. You'll read about old L.A., and maybe we can bring it back. But you can smell that book. You're going to have to touch that book. You're going to have to go find it, you know, at Venice Beach is where he would want you to go find it because he ended up in Marina del Rey, you know, dead on the beach. Um, well, no, dead on a boat. No, well, he was dead in the water. That's all I... Now, he, he wasn't dead in the water because how would have I heard his deathbed speech? How will I be able to tell you this? I'm not even going to bother. Analog are things, students, that smell when they burn. That's all it is. Everything that I'm going to be dealing with, when you finally see it on YouTube... I will still be able to hold that product in my hand. So if you see a movie with lots of sound, it will not be taken by a company who's holding it for me, like they're Sony or something, in their virtual vault. And until I fork out the right amount of digits while going through their, their prompts at... Oh, through their prompts saying, that's just going to blame it on the COVID... Can we smell the COVID? I can't smell the fear that everyone's talking about. But I do, do know that when you're burning something on a hard drive, I, sometimes I don't even hear anything. Man, but when your record is, you know, is burning or the tape is starting to like, ah, it smells, it's burning. It's like an old Mission Impossible episode, not the movies. See, it'll be the references. I got to go analog. I'm going to make all my references. These people deal with analog and it'll make it easier. You won't have to be able to find them online. Because before I was just doing references and hoping people would Google them and that would send them off into this adventure. That's what school used to be. They wouldn't tell us the thing. They would say, go to the library. Here's Take your journal, you wrote the blah, go down there with your paper and your number two lead pencil. That's why I always bring it up. We would suck on those things. There should be a law, right? It should be dangerous. They smelled good. We used to have pen pencil fights. And you'd know who, who, who knew what they were doing because we'd slip in the number four lead pencil in there, you know, and have the edge. And yeah, there's, But you would have to nibble off where it said number four, and I don't know what that product was made of, right? But it was American product, so I trusted the school system all the way, all the way up to their SAT tests and the lighting that still seems to be in most of the CVSs in town. 
but I miss lungs, right? Or what was it before? Rite Aid. No, Rite Aid was after. I miss their ice cream. Thrifty. I miss Thrifty's ice cream. That was in analog times. Oh, and there were a lot of homeless in front of the Thrifty's down on State Street in Santa Barbara. And there was one, he became famous. He had a dog with a huge dog. It was a Mediterranean, not a Mediterranean, was it? He had like a Pyrenees. No, it was a Pyrenees, so it couldn't have been Mediterranean. But those dogs are huge. And they're like the um, greyhounds. No, the greyhounds are super skinny. They're like the bloodhounds. No, those, uh, they're like Labradors. Not at all. Labradors are so friendly, though. Super friendly. Um, we had one in, in our band, Venus Bitch. He was deaf. And that's why he could sit at, at our feet during the show when there was like 30 of us just making, you know, trying to get over to the sound of the guy juggling chainsaws and the drummer would mic all of his uh, drums. Every single drum and cymbal, he would have a mic on it hanging upside down. The incorrect way to hang certain ribbon microphones, you ruin them. And that's how we learn. I learned because he sold me those mics afterwards and they didn't work as well as I remembered them. And then I found out from Steve Albini, he's like some sort of recording guy. You can find him online. And Steve, Steve used to give um, Kurt Cobain advice about how to film things in black and white because Kurt wanted to have his music come out in black and white and he couldn't figure it out. That's what he was trying to do at the end of his life, to make it look. He was trying to make music look like something, like look a certain way because that's what he, he seemed to think everyone was asking him. It's got a, you know, like Sony, that's why I keep bringing him up. They were asking this musician to make himself and the art appear to be something else you know put it into 4k can you can you get this smells like can we smell it on a phone you know can the speakers be smaller than than possible like smaller than your the practice amp a practice amp is a little tiny all right the pig nose a pig nose is a really small amplifier works on a little nine volt battery if you want to check if your 9-volt battery has enough juice, you would just stick your tongue on it. And if you got a little jolt, you'd be like, okay, I can, like jolt cola, I can, I can use this. That's the time of Kurt Cobain. Who is Kurt Cobain? Yeah, I found out that in India, they don't know who Kurt Cobain is. So that's weird. All right, we're coming up to 13 minutes. I just read in my notes, you are not doing the short videos. I'm not, am I? So we're going to change it. I'm going to write here in my notes. Each one of these Labor Day special analog videos will be 13 minutes each. 13 and something. 1306, 1307, 1303. So it'll be 1313. You guys ready? 1213.